Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm just going to uh, go through a, just a quick uh, explanation here today about a uh, Chrome uh, extension. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail about what exactly these things are and all that, uh, at least in this video. But uh, the quick explanation is an extension in Chrome uh, are these little icons you can see in the upper right hand corner typically of a browser. Uh, Chrome's not the only browser that uses them, but obviously uh, for your work account uh, and so on, uh, depending on uh, what your company or uh, uh, school district may use, uh, it'll probably be uh, a Google account. So uh, these little icons are, like I said, are extensions. And what the extension is, is basically just, uh, you can think of it as a tiny little program that runs inside the browser. Uh, so it's like a program within a program is all. Okay, so with that said, uh, the first thing uh, you can see on your screen here is that I'm already in the what's called the Chrome Web Store. Uh, I just want to mention how you get here first, uh, for those of you that may not know. So you can just uh, go into your address bar at the top there, and you can just type in chrome.google.com slash web store. So those uh, four distinct uh, groupings of words, I guess if, uh, I guess com is uh, technically a shortened word. Um, and obviously uh, that'll take you straight there. Another way to get to the Chrome web store from within the browser without typing in an address is if you go up to that little uh, puzzle icon in the upper right hand corner here, and I click on the puzzle icon and I go to where it says manage extensions and I click there and I click this little hamburger menu on the side and I open that and then at the bottom of the screen you can see it says in the bottom left hand side of the screen there open Chrome Web Store and that'll take me there. Uh, once, you're th once you're actually on this page as I am now uh, I would just suggest if you have not already done this to just bookmark this in Chrome by hitting the little star and that'll create a, uh, a bookmark uh, in your web browser. So, uh, once that is, uh, once you're on the page, the next thing you're going to do is we're just going to install this quick little extension here, uh, and you're just going to type in speech, and then uh, as an English teacher, this is a little painful, but we're going to say speechify, I F Y. So speechify, and we hit enter there, and then you see the very first. Um, result is Speechify text-to-speech voice reader and that's exactly what we're looking for. So we're going to click on that. Uh, before I uh, go ahead and hit add to Chrome here, I just want to mention something very quickly. When you're installing extensions and things, which I may make a video later on uh, more uh, detailing um, more things about extensions and, and all that, uh, but I do want to mention uh, how do you know if the thing that you're installing is going to be at least reasonably safe and and all that and that you know fairly trustworthy well there are a few things uh, the number one thing I'd say is look uh, in the Chrome Web Store here you can see that for every extension they will list along the top the number of users and you can clearly see that there are a great many users of this extension uh, and since so many people are using it uh, that lends some um, uh, some sense to its credibility here definitely now uh, you can also look obviously at the rating uh, this has quite a few ratings and it's reasonably high uh, so that's also a good sign although the ratings uh, sometimes may not always be accurate uh, you may have a very good extension or a very good program that may be uh, you know a three star or even two star and then you look at the reviews and people just uh, you know maybe writing in complaints because they're not using it properly and so they're not uh, experiencing it properly so uh, looking at the ratings combined with the users combined with the fact that you know the developer in this case the developer is listed as speechify.com and you can see that there is a verified check there and you can see when I hover over it it gives a little uh, fly out menu there um, saying that it is uh, reasonably trustworthy so those kind of two or three different things combined uh, would be uh, probably the the best quickest way to get a, uh, a good sense of uh, if the extension you're using is a reliable and, and trustworthy one. All right, so with, uh, with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and hit Add to Chrome. I'm going to hit Add the extension. It will automatically add the extension here. You can see it's running the process and installing it in the browser. There it is. It's been added. I'm just going to close this out because it automatically takes you to this, um, I guess, 
it's kind of a splash screen, a splash tab, I guess. Uh, so I'm going to close that out, though, because we don't need to go to that right now. But the extension has been installed. So now what do I do? Because I don't see it up in those little icons at the top that I mentioned uh, a few uh, minutes ago. So I'm just going to click on the puzzle piece since it doesn't show the uh, extension I just installed right now. And you'll see if I scroll down the list, there is Speechify text-to-speech. I'm going to go ahead and hit this little thumb uh, tack or a uh, little pin icon there. And what's that, that, what that's going to do is that's going to pin the extension from being hidden um, in this uh, puzzle piece extension menu uh, where I can't see it to where uh, it's visible uh, at all times in the uh, uh, along the top near the address bar here. I'm going to move the extension over a little bit. You can move it around as you as you see fit. Obviously, you, you saw all you have to do is click on the extension, uh, right click it with your mouse, and uh, obviously dr uh, drag it where you would like in that little area. So once that is done, you can see it's uh, installed as I, uh, as I said just a moment ago. What we're going to do is I'm just going to click on it. So you're just going to right click. And it'll take you straight to this web page, which you can see is app.speechify.com. Once you're here, I am already signed into this. If for some reason, um, it, or I shouldn't say if for some reason, because if you haven't used this before, uh, it's not. There's no wonder <laughs> what the reason would be. Uh, but uh, once you create an account, you can do that very simply um, through a work uh, or school account. In fact, I'll just show you kind of the general process. This would be the screen you'd get to. And uh, I would just recommend, just for you know ease of use, just click on Continue with Google, assuming your school or your work um, account is a Google account. Click on Continue with Google. It'll uh, log me in here because uh, it will basically recognize that I am logged into Chrome through a particular Google account. And so when I click Continue with Google, unless I have multiple accounts signed in, um, at that time, it will just automatically assume that I'm going to sign in with that account, which is what I wanted it to do anyway. So now I am signed in, uh, and you have your whole little menu along the top there, a little settings menu and things that you can um, look through later on. But uh, that's all you need to do, basically. So you don't need to worry about anything on this web page right now. You can kind of uh, uh, play around with uh, the different functionality and things on the on the actual web page here itself later on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close that out because uh, now that the extension's installed, I'm going to show you one of the uh, useful things uh, that uh, this app uh, or this extension, I guess, uh, will allow you to do in Google Chrome at least. So if you're in your uh, email account, once the extension's in installed, like you can see up in the corner there. I am just going to, let's say, I'm going to, um, I'm not going to actually send an email, but let me just uh, type out, uh, oh, sorry, my H key is not typing for some reason. Why is the H key? That is odd. I'm typing the letter H and it is not recognizing it. Okay, well, I'm going to type uh, something different then. How about... All right, well, I'm going to have to just type it uh, lowercase because for some reason my shift key is not responding. Let me see if I can just do a caps lock. Oh, there we go. All right, my shift key for some reason is not working, but uh, when I do a caps lock, it'll allow me to do an uppercase. So uh, I'll just say hello. Um, I'll have to do caps lock again. Uh, there we go. Turn that off. Um, we'll just say, how is everyone doing today uh, okay what's going on with my keyboard here well I'm trying to add a question mark there and for some reason again my keyboard is not responding properly I'm using OBS to record this so I don't know if maybe um, uh, maybe uh, keyboard shortcuts and uh, macros or something that uh, OBS is trying to pull uh, are interfering with my keyboard so uh, I'm sorry for the uh, <laughs> the technical difficulties here, but I'm just going to put an ellipsis. Uh, how is everyone doing? I apologize for the lack of question mark. Um, how about I'll just say, I just wanted to say uh, hello. There we go. Okay. 
So once that's done, you can already see what I'm uh, going to demonstrate here because you have this little menu from the extension that I just installed. So uh, I'll just close this out. Uh, it won't, you won't have that little menu flying up every time, just so you know. Uh, so all I have to do, you see there's a little play button now in the uh, email window. So whenever you're typing out an email, uh, and maybe you just want to um, get a sense of the way it sounds because a lot of times when you read things silently, uh, just because of the way the human brain works, uh, you may miss certain things because you'll just naturally fill in uh, gaps without uh, being aware of it because you're reading it silently. And when you hear things, a lot of times... Uh, that will allow you to identify um, aspects of tone or or uh, syntax that you may have otherwise missed. So if you just hit that button here. Hello. How is everyone doing today? I just wanted to say hello. So uh, it will read it off to you. And uh, you have a variety of different voices and things you can use. And when you're all done, once it uh, has played through, you can just hit the little uh, power button there. And it turns it off. If you you know add more stuff to the email and you want to hear it again, obviously you just hit the play button again. It'll do the same thing. Um, now uh, the app to use, uh, the extension I guess to use, uh, is totally free. Now it does come with a caveat because you will be allowed to use. I, I want to say it's about five minutes or so each day of what they refer to as premium voices. In fact, I'll pull up the menu here. Uh, really quickly, and then hello. I'll wrap this up. How is everyone doing today? I just wanted to say hello. So once it plays that off, let me just pull this up. There we go. So you see the select voice screen here, and they have different premium voices, uh, which basically th they sound, for lack of a better phrasing, they just sound more human. Um, but you're only allowed a, a limited amount of time to use for each voice. Uh, and then once the time uh, is used up for the day during that 24-hour period, uh, then you basically have to use uh, free voices, which are completely workable and totally fine. Um, the premium voices are nice, but ultimately, uh, if you uh, you know don't want to have to pay twenty dollars or whatever the price may be a month, uh, then the the free voices are you know provide just as um, helpful. Of a benefit in my opinion so uh, you can kind of play around with the different functionality there you can see there are things like you can change the speed of the reading and so forth um, obviously you can change the voices that are used and things um, so yeah uh, I just thought that I would show everyone uh, this uh, handy little uh, extension that can be installed totally free uh, and uh, you can just uh, install it into your Chrome browser and you can use it to very quickly, um, at least if nothing else, uh, use as kind of a uh, an email reader for yourself. Um, there are a lot of other uses for this. Uh, it is not only um, relegated to Gmail. So you can use uh, Speechify, the text-to-speech, on a website uh, or other areas within the, within the browser here uh, to read things back to you. Um, but in my opinion, probably uh, reading things like... Um, an email in Gmail or reading something that you wrote in a Google Doc. Um, those are some of the probably the most useful um, uh, aspects of this particular extension. So hope that helps. Uh, and uh, I'll see everybody next time. Thanks.